Well, we are, uh, we're back at our camp spot that we were at last time. It's raining right now, and uh, you can see there's been a lot of melting going on. So we're gonna go down this trail where we stashed our wood last time. We're gonna see if there's a spot down here we can camp. How is it? Good boy! Good boy, let's go, let's go! Good boy, okay, let's go. So we came to the end of this road, we're gonna kind of set up camp back in here somewhere. Try and find the flattest ground. And uh, we'll be a little more sheltered in here. We'll just have to make a new fire pit somewhere. That's okay. It'll be out of the way. So yeah, I'm gonna back the truck up and uh, we'll start getting everything set up. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Well, we're set up, sort of, it's still raining. Turns to sleet, then goes back to rain, and sleet and rain. But we're set up, we're tied out. We got a lot of the inside set up here. This I'll have to hang up top. There. We're gonna do a cat kitchen there. Cot, cot. And we've got a bit of floor space for the chairs and a movie, so I think it's going to work out all right. Whew. But, uh, wow, it's wet out here. Everything is just covered. All right. We're all set up. Completely done. Ready to go. Um, so this is the first time we've set up the Pentagon with the wife's new cot. So we've tried it with the... Uh, the Teton XXL, um, me, I ended up having to be on the floor. I couldn't put the second cot in here uh, because that one was too wide. Um, so this time with her smaller cot, my original cot, Birch has a bed on the floor, so we didn't set up his cot, but we were able to set up the camp kitchen as well. So <clears throat> that's, a, that's a pretty big bonus. Our chairs aren't quite or our chairs aren't set up yet, but tonight we'll set them up. But I'll show you on the on the action cam here. Kind of the layout inside here. So this is my favorite tent. I, I wanted a bit bigger, um, so I did order the hexagon. It actually just shipped yesterday, so I should see it in, in a few days. But, uh, you know, the setup of this one is what I like. I like the quick hub style. It was way quicker to set this up than it was the UP5. Way quicker. Oops, sorry guys. I'm just knocking you all over here. There. That should give you a better kind of shot of what it's like in here. And because I do more glamping than camping, you know, um, I always watch movies in the evening, so I have a projector. And this tent has the white interior wall instead of the camo. So, I much prefer this tent and this style of, of hub style tent versus the dome style U piece uh, tents. So yeah, there you go. I think that would have given you everything. You can kind of see how we're all set up here. You can see the camp kitchen and everything. So yeah, and just like the U P five, this one has the has the little mesh holder up top with electronics and stuff like that. Gloves can be put in there, whatever you want. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the walkthrough. And we are all set up. And uh, yeah, now it's just, we're gonna have a bite to eat, drink, and relax. It's, it's really hot in here. Or at least I am with long underwear on. 
Are you warm? You have long underwear on. It's right here. But and that's it. you were wearing a full snowsuit outside? Yeah, it was oh cold. Oh my god, it's not <laughs> that cold outside. Well, Birch says otherwise. Look at him. Look at him. He's cold. Are you cold, bud? Can't really cover you up. Oh yeah, you fucked up. There you go. It's all snuggled in. There you go. Good boy. Yeah. Finally, good to be back out in the bush. I can't believe how much, how windy it is. It is just howling out there. And when that wind, or when that rain starts coming too, it just sounds like hail on top of this tent. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad we came over here though, because it was way windier over there. Yeah. That way. <clears throat> I put snow all the way around the edges on the snow skirts, so the, the wind can't go between the two layers of tents, so we actually have a, a double wall uh, tent for the for the weekend and uh, yeah it's just gonna be a little bit of R&R &R, some cooking hopefully have a campfire where we uh, we left all our wood here from last trip so uh, it's all still here it's stacked between a couple trees so I saw that yeah, I did good huh? <clears throat> I put a I put some whole logs on the bottom then all the split stuff and then some whole logs on the top to kind of protect the split stuff a bit better so i think it's all going to be dry and it'll go up like paper should have no problem starting a fire tonight um i still think we should tuck it in the bush a bit you know get that little extra protection from that berm that's there instead of being out in the open oh, the fireplace the fire pit yeah i think we need to tuck it in the bush a little bit there everything's soaking wet yeah, I mean, it's yeah. been raining all day and everything is melting and there is no risk of fire right now at all. Everything is just soaking wet. That is one of the downfalls about trying to find a place to set up a tent. Yeah. Is people put the fire pits on the flattest part right. of the ground because they're just going out for the day to sit for a campfire. And then you get somebody who comes along with a tent and they're like, well, that well, was the flat ground. <laughs> it's, yeah. Now it's a fire pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the summer, it's easier to move. Yeah. In the winter, not They're so not much. Moving it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we brought out quesadillas and homemade soup for our two suppers. We weren't sure when we were going to eat them. But because it's cold and raining outside, and uh, it had stopped for a bit but just started raining again, I think it's time to make our soup. So these are homemade soups that after we cook a chicken or a turkey or whatever we you know boil the bones make soup so there we go big frozen ice cube of soup good old Italian seasoning there we go Now we wait for a while. We need about 10 minutes. ready well the sun's out now so it rained poured sleeted for the entire time we set up probably for about an hour after we were in here or so now winds calmed down a bit still gusty but 
sunny blue sky. <laughs> well, we got our soups ready. And uh, it's too hot to eat, so just letting it cool down. But homemade chicken soup. It's crazy windy out there, so I don't know what we're gonna do today. But maybe try and find a spot for the fire pit where I can put my truck in the way and block some wind, but it's crazy windy out there. <laughs> Just went for a walk not very far it is windy out there we're actually really sheltered in here compared to out there where we were originally going to camp that would have been terrible so windy my face is frozen it's not even that cold out it's just the wind it's so strong Thank you. 
Now we're getting ready to shut her down, move inside. Got a snow ring around the edge, just to make sure none of the uh, embers or whatever or heat is going to creep. Once this burns down some more, we'll cover it in snow and then move inside. I think it's been all day we've been out here. It's pretty it's, much. It gets gusty once in a while, but not too bad. Right here, we're pretty well sheltered, so worked out okay. I didn't think we were going to be able to be outside at all. So. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it there, isn't it? Yep, that's it. <laughs> oh, I was smoking. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nika, that's it. It's time that's to it. go inside. Time to go inside. Get nice and toasty. Have some supper. Watch a movie. I'm looking forward to a hot apple cider. I need a hot drink right now. It's cold out here. <laughs> I'm damp, like chilled. Oh look, we're, we've got a volcano. <laughs> The last trip we were out, I have this new climate sleeping pad, and it's very quiet, unlike my Thermarest Neo Air. Um, but it shrinks down so small, like it's, it says it's 25 inches wide, but once you inflate it, it's like 20. Um, so it, it really sh shortens and narrows when you fill it. It is comfy, but my feet hang off the end. It's just long enough that my head is on the top edge my ankles are on the bottom edge and as soon as you put a pillow on there and scooch down a little bit your your ankles are hanging off the mat so I'm gonna try my Neo Air again so I'm gonna take this one that's on the bed right now my climate I'm gonna you know pack it away and I'm gonna put my Thermarest back on and uh, just test out the difference on the same weekend I should have done that last weekend I meant to but I just was too lazy to I didn't so I'm doing it this weekend the problem with the Thermarest Neo Air, right bud? The problem is it sounds like you're sleeping on empty bags of chips. It's just so loud. It just crunches and crunches. I need help. What? You just put it on top of your other Thermarest. Yeah, that's okay. I can grab it underneath. I guess I got a bag for this, don't I? Yeah. Once I inflate it, it'll shrink a bit. Way longer. Way longer, yes. I and like it the is about well, three inches bigger. But listen to it! I'm sleeping on chips. That's all I have for an attachment, I don't know. That's what I use. when it's blown up it's an inch and a half couple inches wider wider but way longer well not way longer probably eight inches longer yeah but that makes a difference makes a huge difference like that's basically what I'm missing is those eight inches for my pillow and my feet to still all be on the sleeping pad so that sucks kind of but Oh, oh, listen to the chips. The thunderstorm. Like, why couldn't they make it this big but not crunchy? It's right here. That thing's huge. That's 33 inches wide, that well, one. That one is blown up, though. What is it? How wide's my cot? I don't know. Let's put this over top of that one and see what the difference is. Hey, 
I did a gear review on this Thermarest. Why does it have to be so loud? It's perfect aside from it's loud. It's very loud. It's very loud. Of course, I don't move around much, so. It doesn't take much. <laughs> <laughs> and your boy sleeps in bed with you. Sunday, it's pack up day. I've got quite a bit packed up already. Hey, leave her alone. Um, yeah, so it's just pack up day. So we're gonna have a coffee and then, uh, then we'll get going. Yes, we're gonna go home. Well, we're all packed up, ready to go. That was a good trip. It was uh, not really favorable weather with the rain, everything was wet and, and uh, freezing rain was fine, but um, yeah, we kind of set up camp in a puddle. We've never camped here before, so we didn't know what was underneath. But uh, let's see. That bare patch right down to the ground, that's where the stove was. And then this is kind of the community area, the open foot area, that was really wet and puddly. Um, but yeah, we're all done, ready to go. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.